Hi, it's Dave at Ask the Electrician, and we are going to be wiring a dryer circuit, an outlet, and the dryer cord. We'll be doing this for three wire hookups and four wire hookups. We'll be covering the three wire outlets and the four wire outlets. We will see the three wire circuit and how that is connected in the panel and a four wire circuit. In most homes, there is an existing dryer circuit, which can be located at the main panel. The circuit breaker for the dryer should be labeled and it will be a two-pole 30 amp circuit breaker in a single panel with a uh, this is a 125 amp panel with a single row of breakers the label may look something like this and in a larger panel for example a 200 amp panel that has two rows of circuit breakers the dryer circuit breaker may look something like this but in both cases, it's a 30 amp circuit breaker, two full size breaker spaces, giving us a 30 amp 240 volt circuit out to the electric dryer. For electricians that wire the circuits, we know that the circuit breaker has a black wire and a red wire for the four wire circuits. And for the older three wire circuits, it has a black wire and a white wire that's been colored black. But in some cases, there are old wires that are attached this way, where on the 30 amp circuit breaker, there's a black wire and a white wire. The white wire attached to the breaker is an energized wire and part of the 240 volt circuit. In some cases, in an older installation where you have a three wire dryer outlet, you may see that there are actually four wires in the outlet box and this is because somebody was using a an old dryer on a new circuit in this case you can identify which wires are actually connected at the main panel and make sure that the right wire either the neutral or the ground wire is attached to the ground prong of that three wire outlet. As long as it leads back to the main panel, both of those wires, the white wire or the ground wire, should be attached to the ground bar which shares the neutral at the main panel. Again, the white wire should be identified with either black or red electrical tape to indicate that this is not a neutral wire, that it is, in fact, a power conductor. But the bare green wire, of course, is a ground wire, which is attached appropriately at the main panel. Now with the four wire outlets, it's just the same thing, except for we do have an actual dedicated neutral wire for the fourth prong on the outlet. So the ground wire and the neutral wire are attached in their own locations on this four wire receptacle. And the two lines of power, the red and the black, are attached to their appropriate terminals on the four wire receptacle as well. We're getting close to the middle of this video, so I want to remind you that at the end of the video, we will be showing you how to get a resource that will help you wire your electrical wiring projects and avoid the most common mistakes. Now we're getting into the older dryer hookups and the newer dryer hookups, showing how the dryer cords are attached to the dryers themselves. We have both appropriately the three wire dryer cord and the four wire dryer cord. The three wire dryer cord has two hot wires and a ground wire. And this is for the old 
dryers that do not require a dedicated or separate neutral wire. The center wire is the ground wire as it hooks up to the dryer and on the outside of the connection at the dryer the two outside terminals are for the lines of power. So typically you have the black on the left side, the red on the far right side, and the ground wire in the middle. Now for the four wire connections, the only difference is that there's a ground strap which must be removed in a four wire connection and the white neutral wire goes in the middle. And if there is a separate white wire that goes out to a green grounding screw, then that wire will be attached to the middle terminal and the ground wire that comes from the dryer cord will be attached to the green ground screw. Be sure to refer to the installation instructions that come with the dryer to make sure it's being wired correctly for either the three wire connection or the four wire connection. The connections at the dryer look basically the same except for there is either a dedicated ground screw or there is not. Or there is a ground strap or, is, or there is not. The older dryers just have the three terminals and do not require a separate neutral wire. But the newer dryers do require the neutral wire. And so the dedicated neutral wire is attached to the center post, center terminal, and the ground wire is attached to the green ground screw on the dryer. Now the resource that I'd like you to have can be found at asktheelectrician.com. It's a free downloadable ebook called The Ten Mistakes and How to Avoid Them. And we also have a free newsletter that is published and sent out about every week full of electrical tips to help with your wiring projects. And there are topics just like this and a lot more at asktheelectrician.com. Please give us a thumbs up if you like what you see. And don't forget to let your light shine. Thank you very much for viewing this video. Have a great day.